On February 2020, Garcia had to face Francisco Fonseca in the Honda Center. Fonseca had a record of 25 wins and two losses, which one of them was against Gervonta Davis in 2017 at the undercard of Mayweather versus McGregor. That is old. Old Ooh, that is Shibyama. Gervonta knocked Fonseca out in the eighth round. Since there was expected to be a showdown between Garcia and Davis, all eyes were on Garcia to see if he would do better against Fonseca than Davis did. Nobody expected a knockout earlier than Davis, since Davis was a knockout artist and specialized in that area. However, on fight night, Garcia shocked the world after not even one round. By KO, he said, hey, I've got a chip on my shoulder. I can beat Ryan Garcia, and then I'll be the one to beat Texas. The world for greatness, and the stage is set now. It's time to perform it. His young daughter, his newborn. He's moving up to face the top fighter here. Whoa, Davis, that knocked him off balance. Really hurt when he raised off the temple. The Mexican Noye Martinez Regoza had a record of 23 wins, 9 losses, and 2 draws. He would add another loss on his record in 2017 in Canada at the Place Bell Arena in the 8th round by technical knockout. 1 2, Ryan Garcia. 19 years old out of Southern 10, 9 and 2. Beth Legrand. Oh, you had a lot of hype around him. And you all over the world were watching Ryan Garcia, the Orthodox fighter. Peace on the back of his trunks. Against Mexico's Noe Martinez in the black and red, the Southpaw. Noe gets in there and mixes it up with you. This is exactly what Noe does. Doesn't have much pop behind him. But he'll get in there. He's not afraid of well, Obviously, the power is in the hand. That right hand of Ryan Garcia and the speed. So he's the total package in that regard, but he's not yet a, a, a complete fighter. That's not going to come for, you know, some rounds. He's having to get out of the first two rounds. He's having to think because of his hand speed. It's not necessarily the power or the leverage he gets into the shots. See, and they just get discombobulated. Garcia, the taller fighter in the ring. Then nicely, giving him better competition as he progresses. Good amateur background. You see what he is, does the night. And the crafty Noe Martinez. Well, so, you know. Southpaw gets low and he, he utilizes lateral movement. And he's, he's kind of caging in there. Martinez landed once. Opening round. He's doing what you're supposed to. I like real knockouts, so he's one of those can year. But it's good to be in there with guys. Ryan, coming from Austin. Yeah, and, 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 I, and I see it a little bit. Ops you know, fights were in Mexico. Yep. The first six fights were in Iguana, Mexico. Learned it. But those weren't against those rugged Mexican fighters. Yeah. Those were against the ones that are like, hey, he's learned this and this fight. Huh? If it doesn't, if it doesn't affect, unless you play the municipal courses first, right? You've got to get through those, and that's what Ryan is doing right now. Sorry, Pines, my brother and Matt Oberlander are watching right now. He just exhibited some nice yeah. uh, defensive moves there with some head knocks. Then he's in position to counter. Good, nice. good right hand from Ryan. Good combination from the 19. Not at this way. Body shot, little one. Yeah, and oh, oh big is. right hand from Garcia in the corner. Looking at his facial expression, and it's very, it's contorted, it's twisted, and it didn't start out that way. He's oh. taking some shots to the head that have just combination he's from Ryan. It. 
but a jaw and a chin, 10 seconds to go in the round. Ryan trying to finish it, letting it. And they will punch back. They'll see an opportunity when a young man is trying to unload on him, letting both hands go, and that, that chin is exposed. presents itself you don't want to force it you don't want to get Mario Antonio Macias was another Mexican with a record of 28 wins and 21 losses before following another defeat against Ryan Garcia in Forum, Inglewood. He was another fighter that faced Garcia's rival, Gervonta Davis, one year earlier in June, at which he lost by knockout in the first round. And he wouldn't make Garcia look any worse, since he would lose against him in the first round as well, and improve Garcia's record to a 10-fight win streak. He was from Victorville in his previous fights, but hey, Going by the angle, I like that Ryan Garcia. Melo Alvarez Chavez fight back in May, and I asked him. Boxes, low left hand, likes to shoulder roll, lead with a lot of hook, hand speed, and, and there he goes. Gar Garcia's down. Lodge in Victorville, California. But Garcia's is already in survival mode. Well, Garcia's has been stopped numerous times. So this is nothing. That new stung him, and it is over. A first round KO for Ryan Garcia. Before delivering his first round knockout against Antonio Macias, Ryan Garcia delivered another first round knockout against American Tyrone Lucky and added one more defeat to his six losses in the T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas. 31 years old at a Neptune, New Jersey. Very risky fight. That Golden Boy decided to sign off good. on. I mean, Ryan Garcia has looked good. So not one to be intimidated. He is big in. Down. And down goes Ooh. Lucky right over. Let's get a look at this knockdown because it happened so fast. Just it, boom. It was a left hook right on the button. And I don't think Lucky saw his glove hit the canvas. Wham. Right on the face. And this is nice. His right hand up to block left that Lucky had launched. Just as he just fought Valsir Lomachenko. And he was competitive in with those guys, even though he was stopped by Sosa. And he dropped. Golden Boy made his Golden Boy debut in October out of the garage. There's no gym. It's the dad convert branded sponsors. Wild swing and a miss. Schedule for six. Ryan Garcia, Tyron Lucky. <laughs> In the bigger shots is no, no, no. watch out for if you're lucky. Overhand right, get the Olympic. If you have a chance to turn pro, you can turn pro at 17. A lot of them saying because of the amateurs now, there's no more hit here. Why risk it? Back from Garcia. I like that Garcia is mixing his shots to the head and to the body. Which is in front. He's got just as much power in his right hand as he does with the hook. And as we know, he has a killer instinct. Right hand, buckled the legs. Stop. No, 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 I don't like it. Stops the fight. Speed and power is a lot to deal with. Huge right hand. Now you can't see below Lucky's waist, but his legs did buckle. He has, he's on wobbly legs right now. He's being sort of overwhelmed against the ropes. I thought a technical knockdown. Let's get another angle of it. Big right hand. It did land on the temple. That will affect a fighter's equilibrium. Follows up. He's enough, and Moore is looking. He's looking very closely. Nice jab, splits the guard from Lucky, and a right hand right to the temple. 
Lucky's legs do the Bojangles briefly. Tries to duck from a right hand that grazes him. There's a grazing left to the top of the head. On December 17th, 2016, Jose Antonio Martinez decided to step into the ring with the 18-year-old prospect, Ryan Garcia, who won all of his first six fights. In comparison, Martinez had a record of eight wins and seven losses, but would survive only two of the six rounds. My father, Henry Garcia, his opponent, Antonio Martinez, excited about him. Yeah, well, you, when you win 15 national titles, you see a pretty good foundation. A lot of them. He is very popular on social media. A big, bright smile on his face. Ask him about Ryan Garcia. Oh, he stunts Martinez, going upstairs there. He's one of the body, letting his hands go. Is Ryan Garcia. He's got the white gloves, and he's pounding the veteran Antonio Martinez, and he's letting his hands go over and over. Ten seconds to go. Martinez is struggling. He's been in some battles in his career. Martinez needs he's to hold the punch it. back. Final seconds of the opening round. He was stung and Martinez. Imagine like he got this a month ago. Came to the Good young pro prospects. Kevin Tamahara, especially. There he goes down. And this thing he's trying to, he's trying to get some spring in. He's going to have to get some respect. Body work from Garcia. He is long for the five foot ten. Oh, that right hand and Rudy Bonagun jumps in. It is over. One fight prior to that, Garcia faced Mario Aguirre, who had only two wins and four losses, and would add another loss after throwing the towel before round three. And before facing Aguirre, Garcia fought against the Puerto Rican Jonathan Cruz in his fifth fight that would add another TKO win in the second round.
Salcedo. Cuidado, está pasando problemas. Mario Aguirre y es que la dinamita, el trinito es para La fuerza pues de Ryan García Herrera es impresionante. Repetición del momento justo donde Ryan García conecta una mano derecha por el sistema. De tres knockouts de sus cuatro victorias y sobre todo, eh, eh, como repito, la estatura y el alcalde vino a aplicar muy bien. See?